on to our first alert. Whether you know you go back to some of that fire danger, you know, yeah. it feels like fire season every year starts earlier and earlier, and yeah. it has to with this heat. Right, the heat kicking in doesn't help matters. What kind of balances that out is that we had a nice amount of moisture during the winter, yeah. but the grasses, the smaller shrubs, right, they dry out like that. Right, and it's amazing how brown some of the hillsides are. Yeah, we live kind of at the foot of Mount Diablo, and it yeah. is just already crispy yeah. and ready to go. So yeah. exercise caution over the next several days, especially with the heat that's going to be settling into the Bay Area tomorrow. But if you're not quite ready for the return of the heat after we had last week, here's good news. It's just kind of a one day heat wave. A heat advisory in effect for inland parts of the Bay Area on Tuesday. That's where high temperatures are going to be in the 90s to near 100 degrees. Not nearly that hot around the Bay, 70s and 80s and only 60s along the coast. And then everybody coasts back at least closer to normal beginning already on Wednesday. So again, this is literally a one day heat wave. Let's switch perspectives and look to the west from Salesforce Tower and you can see the fog is still shrouding Sutro Tower, but it's a fairly compressed marine layer as the weight of the atmosphere on top of us, which is going to result in those hot temperatures tomorrow, is really squashing the marine layer and the fog therein. Temperature stands at 90 degrees right now in Concord. It's 86 in Livermore, but only 81 in San Jose and 76 degrees in Santa Rosa. It's only in the 60s in San Francisco and in Oakland. Cool temperatures for the Giants as they start a homestand this evening against the Houston Astros. Temperature for first pitch, which is at 640, should be right about where it is now, 62 degrees or so, coasting down into the 50s as we head through the rest of this evening. So it's an evening game in June in San Francisco. You know you need to layer up a little bit. The fog is still going to be out there as we start the day tomorrow, but it will back up to the coast quickly. Our temperatures will warm up. We'll start off in the mid to upper 50s with a few spots in the low 60s, but those are going to be very few and far between in the coolest locations right along the coast, starting off right around 50 degrees. And then high temperatures are going to warm up to well above average levels, anywhere from 8 to 15 degrees above normal, 91 degrees in San Jose, but all the way up to 97 degrees near Morgan Hill, 98 in Livermore, right around 100 degrees for Antioch and Brentwood. Those will be the hot spots in the map, but most inland parts of the East Bay are going to be in the mid to upper 90s, upper 80s for Fremont, right at 90 degrees in Redwood City, 67 degrees for Half Moon Bay, only about five degrees above normal there. but. Getting close to 10 degrees above normal for San Francisco into the mid 70s, mid 80s across the Bay in Oakland and the temperatures in the North Bay also on the hot side, reaching up mostly into the 90s by tomorrow afternoon. It's just a matter of how far into the 90s that we are going to climb. We'll take a look at the records for tomorrow, compare those to where we're going to be topping out and we're not likely to set any record high temperatures on Tuesday. The closest we're going to be is going to be around Santa Rosa and Livermore, but even there we're going to be about four to seven degrees below that record territory. Records around the Bay are going to be way out of reach into the 90s in both San Francisco and in Oakland, and we're not going to be nearly that hot for tomorrow. And again, it backs down quickly. The long range outlook shows a return of below average temperatures, a decent chance of below average temperatures in the six to 10 day outlook time frame, which is does include the tail end of the seven day forecast. So let's take a look at that. We'll start inland with one day of heat tomorrow and then back to closer to normal temperatures through the rest of the seven day outlook, which mostly means the middle portion of the 80s for inland parts of the Bay Area. It's warm, but it's appropriately warm for the last days of spring. Again, first day of summer is a week from Thursday, so it's right around the corner. Temperatures will feel summer like around the Bay tomorrow into the 80s and then a mix of 60s and mostly 70s over the course of the next several days. And after a limited impact of the fog tomorrow, the fog is going to reestablish itself as we head through the rest of the work week and into the weekend, and that helps to limit temperatures along the coast to a mix of upper 50s and low 60s before we head into Father's Day weekend. But the weekend itself is looking pretty nice, so whenever you have planned in the works for Father's Day should be just fine. Liz? We'll have a lot to look forward to. Thank you, Paul.